Hello, this is Double O Debbie, and this is episode one of a brand new vanilla Let's Play for 111.2. Um, so I wanted to start a, a new series so that I could uh, check out some of the new features of Minecraft that uh, you just you can't get in the mod packs. Um, just yet <laughs> because most of the mod packs are for 110 uh, and and they have a lot of the oh, look at this uh, one uh, the 112 snapshots out um, and I just wanted to check them out look we got some sheep over there sheep over there a little clay this is awesome Oh yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'm curious as to um, what you guys think. Should I uh, keep this as um, just a s the re current release, or should I actually go into um, the snapshots? Look, there's a cave. Uh, that cave looks pretty awesome. I see some iron in there too. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> I I only have um Optifine on here. Boy, you can tell the difference. Uh Yeah. <laughs> um hold on. Okay. My cat decides to walk in front of the monitor and stand there. Get some sugar cane. Oh yeah. Let's get get a tree and maybe kill a couple of those sheep. Or we could go get that iron and a little bit of uh, charcoal so we don't have to kill the sheep. This looks like a pretty cool little biome here. Oh yeah, it's always got to start with punching wood. And oh man. <laughs> I'm so used to the fast leaf decay. Give me my saplings! <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things I really enjoy about modded is having the fast leaf decay. Uh, that's the worst part of uh, chopping down trees is waiting for the saplings to drop. Okay, this should be enough. I think we'll just go ahead and kill a couple sheepies. Uh, there seem to be plenty in this area, so I don't think it it will. Oh yeah, I don't think it will matter if we off a few. All right, let's just make. Uh, an axe and a pickaxe. There we go. Oh, the Optifine makes such a big difference in the performance. Um, it's crazy. Alright, Sheepy, I'm sorry. Boink! Oh, he had two! Two muttons! So did that one! Oh, that's great. Each of them had... Oh, look, we got some saplings. Let's take those. And then, uh... You know, I would really like it if they would make... You know, calamari drop from those squid. <laughs> that would be awesome. So let's go into this cave and see if we can snag that iron. Let's make a little... Well, I guess there's a, a way to get up over here. We don't need to do that. So we're going to need to get three of this uh, to make a cobble pick. <gasps> there's some coal. Look, there's a hole down there. Alright, let's... Um... Oh, there's a monster! Please don't come eat me. <laughs> the monster's gonna eat me no Ack. 
All right, let's make sure we take this. Uh, who knows when? All right, yeah. Iron. That's at least enough for a pick. Let's go see if we can grab. Uh, grab this gold. Shh. Shh. Oh, there's a creeper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um. That looks like uh, a mob spawner. <laughs> I can't take a mob spawner right now. I only got a wooden, a wooden axe. No. Oh, you know what? There should be. I turned on the chest. I didn't see. Oh man, that sounds scary. Well, I was, um, is it on this hill, maybe? I just spawned right here, guys. Oh, there it is, yes! <laughs> Look at that! I made that for nothing. That's okay. It's okay. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Look at this spawn! Look at that, there's a village! Boink! Oh, that is awesome. A village right near spawn. Uh-huh. With a cave and some type of spawner. Oh, yeah. Let's go check out that village. Forget about the cave. Let's go check out the village. That's crazy. They got some food for us over there, I bet. Um, let's go ahead and... And get our little bed made. That way, if <laughs> if we get distracted for some reason, you know, not I would never do that, but just in case. You know, we have the bed to where we can sleep and, and reset the day. <gasps> There's a blacksmith! With the horse on top of it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Look at that. Two horses. Three. How did they get up there? Okay, maybe there's just two. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh. oh, she thinks I'm a thoroughfare. Or is it a through fair? I don't know. <gasps> With some cows! Oh yeah. We got everything here. And a blacksmith. With a shovel. Huh. Oh! We got enough. Oh! Obsidian. We don't even need to mine obsidian. What? We don't need to mine obsidian. We got three iron and an iron sword. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that was a good old blacksmith. Thank you, Mr. Blacksmith. I appreciate it. And we get taters. Oh, I miss right clicking. I do. I want to I want to make a mod that just adds the feature to be able to right click. <laughs> right click and harvest and replant mob, mob harvest uh, crops. <laughs> Speech um, words. Excuse me. You're in my way, Mr. A cartographer? Are you a cartographer? No, you're a librarian. With Frost Walker. <laughs> um. Well, that's good and bad because. Uh, I think this is close enough to spawn where this will always be loaded. I don't know. Can 
get some yummy taters. Are there any carrots? I don't think so. There's beets, but no carrots. Okay. Really? I thought it was past the horizon. Um. Oh, that was such a good blacksmith. It's a really good blacksmith. Okay, we got uh, we got a little wheat. We got a little. Let's get one more wheat. That way we got enough for a couple bread. Oh, that is wheat. We need to um, make sure we have a house with a couple of these. Whoa! Hey, come back! Go back in there! I think that's enough to light it up. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You stay in there. <laughs> um, I've seen that. Oh, let's make it like this too. Sometimes the if the. <laughs> If the villager is staying right next to the door <coughs> and a zombie comes and stands right there in the corner, they can hit them through the door, which uh, is kind of silly. But yeah, and and I love the screen. Oh, this is awesome. I think I'll, I want to I wanna be in this biome. It's so pretty. Look at this. Did they change the color of the green? The forest biome? No. I don't know. Well, I think I think we got two in there. Let me look through the window. Hi, hi. I can't see anything. Hi. Oh. I thought. Oh, it's the other one. It's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking in the wrong one. I'm a peeping Tom. Uh, no, not really. I'm not. I don't like um, spying, but... Okay, there's one. Oh, I can't see. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, my cat, is she's doing it again. Right in front of the monitor. I think there's only one in there. Why do, why do you only have one? Nope, the other one. He's over there standing in the doorway. Like a silly head. Okay, we got two. I don't know what kind those guys are, but... That's all that matters, that we have a couple to... Um, that are protected uh, so that if we decide later on that we want to come do some villager breeding, we can. And I want to snag these books. Oh my gosh! There's two libraries. That's almost enough right there for an enchanting system. Whoa, this is awesome! <laughs> I like it. And. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. I uh, didn't. It didn't take anything. Um, is this? I don't have very many torches. We'll uh, we'll get some more right there. I don't really want to. There's so many librarians. Look at these. That's all there is here. Knock back. Let's see if they have anything good. If we need to capture one of these guys. Excuse me. Frostwalker 2. That's better than the other guy. Oh, let's, uh, let's put those boots on. Because these boots were made for walking. Um, oh, that's the cartographer. He'll give us a map, I think, uh, that shows the way... Oh, let's get these books. Uh, it'll show the way to, uh, like, a ocean monument or a woodland mansion, I believe. 
I, I've never actually used one before. <laughs> a librarian. That's the Frostwalker 1. Psh. Frostwalker 2 is only 26, bud. Oh, what's this house over here? Um, can't believe there are no carrots. <gasps> there are carrots! <laughs> it's amazing! It's the perfect village. There's nothing but a bunch of librarians. Cartographers. And there's one um guy in a green jacket. I don't know what he does. Look at all those crops. We got food. Oh yeah. I love this place. It's awesome. Look, uh, you can see this hill over here. Mountains over there. Look. Oh man, you could see the snow covered mountain. It was. I, I, you, you could see it. Oh, if you don't look directly at it, you can see the snow. As soon as you look at it, though, the fog appears. Uh, that is awesome. I love it. It's a beautiful mountains. A, vi a nice cozy village. Some little sheepies to keep us company. Oh yeah. Let's have a look around over on the other side of the village. Uh, oh look a little bridge made by the village. Oh, It's by the village people. <laughs> Some more horses, tons more horses. Oh yeah. That is great. Oh, there's another look at at our mountain over there. Oh, I'm loving this world already. <laughs> it's great. Oh, there's some coal over there. I want to see if there's some different biomes like a desert or a jungle nearby. So far it just looks like forest. I see some pumpkins right there. Uh, that just looks like more forest. So looks like we maybe have um, extreme hills over there. That doesn't really give us um, anything. Oh, let's go get those pumpkins because uh, if you have pumpkins, sugar canes, and eggs, you can make pumpkin pie. Um, one of the things, I, I was trying to play around with some mod packs uh, because the, the Twitch launcher is so awesome. You can look through all the, I, I think it's all the mods that are listed on the Curse launcher. And it sorts it by like the the version of the game that you're playing. So if you're, uh, if you choose a certain version of the game and then you add uh, go to add more content with the mods um, it only lists the mods in that v version so you just look at all the relevant mods and it's amazingly easy you don't have to worry about getting a virus or anything <laughs> by downloading some cool mod because uh, it's all done there on the twitch launcher and it's so easy to update the mods there um, yeah, I love the Twitch launcher. Oh, look, there's some more sugar cane. Let's, oh, I didn't want that on my head, silly. Uh, so if you shift click, I just want to see, um, look, there's some coal hiding. I love the squid sounds. They go, squash. They're squashing through the water, squash. 
it's still nothing but like forest as far as I can see. That's okay. Uh, maybe we'll just try to set up a base. Uh, oh look, is that that's a sunflower forest? Awesome! The sunflowers look so cool. What's they give you y yellow dye? I wonder, uh, I think you can only find, is it, I'm not sure, but I know they're supposed to be llamas, um, but I think they're only in, like, uh, uh, the extreme hills biomes, maybe I'm wrong, but that makes sense, because they're, like, a mountainous area, sorry about the noise, uh, it is, trash day today and I have the window open again because you know it's summertime and it's morning and uh, it's a nice day out okay uh, okay he's gone he's gone it's cool it's a nice day out so I like to open the window and let some fresh air in <laughs> And, and they only come by every once in a while, you know, on Wednesdays. So, yeah, happy Wednesday. It's midweek. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, that's definitely, you can tell the green, the difference in the green uh, when you get into the extreme hills. Look, that's a natural mob spawner right there. I um, wonder who thought of a mob spawner. The first mob spawner. That would be neat to know. Did they just see uh, a natural area like this and see that uh, mobs just started spawning there and went, "Hey, I want more mobs to spawn," and so they they made their own big dark area. Uh, I'm just curious, you know, because I I didn't start playing uh, Minecraft when. Uh, when it was in beta. I didn't start playing until I like um, I think it was 125 um, yeah I'm really considering um, making like th just a couple of different series um, to play and, and record and upload videos for uh, just to put some variety up there. Oh, chicken! Oh, you got some eggs for me? We can have some pumpkin pie. Come on. Where's your eggs? Bloop. Come on. Bloop them out. Bloop. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, don't worry. I can find my way back. Shh. No problem. We don't need like a trail of torches or anything. <laughs> um, you know, when I was uh, when I was first playing, um, Minecraft was so so scary uh, because yeah, I had gotten lost before, uh, and it was <laughs> it was pretty horrible when you get going and you get your crafting table and you get a furnace and then you set them down somewhere next to a chest that has all your stuff in and then you go exploring and you can't find your way back and you have no idea where your stuff is and, and it makes you want to cry um, but I don't know I don't know if I just I'm I'm used to the the different biomes so I know I know that there's a um, extreme hills and that home is that way there's a village over there let's keep, keep going that way oh there's there's the trash uh, truck again he's on the other side of the road now sorry um, <laughs> it's just twice a day <laughs> that's it okay there shouldn't be any more of that now yeah I'm oh man Optifine makes a huge difference uh I put a cap at it at 120 frames per second, and when I turned uh, turned on my fraps, um, 
it o it only chunked it down to 60. Uh, I've never really gotten more than 30, but man, with the Optifine, it it pretty much doubles it. It's, it's just amazing. Okay, uh, this is a plains. There's horses here. And this is a forest. Look at the... I used to think that the the grass was pretty much identical in these. The only difference was the trees. But look at the difference in the grass there. The forest is definitely greener. Either that or they changed the plains to be a little uh, grayer. A little more muted. Now watch. Watch me sit there and say, look, free flowers! What? Um, and there's a dog. I heard him. <gasps> oh, he's killing the sheep. Free wool. I wish I could give him uh, some of this meat. Oh, they killed. Look at all the sheep they killed. Oh, my goodness. Bad puppies. Bad. <laughs> That's okay. I, I picked up the free stuff. Oh, I just, oh man. Sheepy, run! <laughs> They're coming for you! <laughs> They're coming for you, run! Go, guys, go! <laughs> the wolves are coming! Okay, uh, so far I'm seeing nothing. Nothing but extreme hills, forests, and plains. I was hoping maybe there might be, uh, I don't know, a jungle or a savanna or a desert nearby. <laughs> Meh. You keep, keep going this way, guys. There are wolves back there that are eating sheep. Uh, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Come on, I'm not that bad at parkour. Okay, I am. <laughs> Still, nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing but forest and plains and extreme hills. That makes me just a little bit sad. Just a little bit though, not a, not a whole lot. I do love me some planes to build in. And and the forest. Oh, the forest grass is so green. It's beautiful. I think I would rather clear out all the trees. Oh, look at some white silver. <laughs> I got to give me a saddle. I love the white horses. Um I don't know uh I know you can tell how old I am, but one of my favorite shows when I was a kid was uh, The Lone Ranger. And I loved the horse, Silver. He's just so beautiful. So we'll have to come back and get some of those white horses. So. All right, let's go see if we can find our way back. Uh, there, are, oh, there are tons of horses over here. Of course I don't have a saddle. Don't be silly. What is this? <laughs> it looks like somebody uh, did that on purpose. Uh, made a little sunroom, uh, sunroof for their pools. Where are my eggs? They don't give me no eggs. Okay, um, I'm a little worried now because I don't remember there being an ocean. <laughs> there was no ocean, guys. No, really, I know where I'm at. I just need to go over this way. I really, really wish I could have found, you know, a desert. There's a lot of the little lakes with the sand there, but it's not the same. Maybe we'll have to um, come over here to uh, this uh, ocean area later when we get established. Um, 
and just make a boat and go see if we can find some different biomes. Because, you know, after a while, birch and, uh, birch and oak get a little bit boring. I think, I think maybe, uh, oh, I don't need the cows because we got 42 books and my inventory is completely full, guys. Okay, let's see if we can make our way back to that village. <gasps> there's a swamp! I know it's not a uh, different wood or anything, but there's a swamp! Awesome! Okay, I think uh, we went on the other side of this uh, set of mountains, so I think if we cut across here, we take a shortcut. Oh my goodness! <gasps> hmm, we're totally. To did I? Nope, there's my crafting table. Let's make this uh, wheat into bread. That's why I wanted to get 12 so we could have an even number. <laughs> I've been running around. I've never done this much exploring on episode one. Generally I find a spot and uh, plop down for the night. I just wanted to see everything. It's so... we had such a good spawn. Okay, let's see if we can sleep now. Plus we got a bed, which was amazing getting those sheep right off the bat so we don't have to worry about uh, getting ganked by mobs right off the bat when it goes night. I can't get that. Oh, mushroom! I can't get that. <laughs> I don't know. What's more important? Flowers or a mushroom? Another mushroom! They're taunting me. They're taunting me. Okay, if my corrections are correct, I mean, if my... Uh, <laughs> that didn't make it. If, uh oh, oh my goodness, there's, there's a mob spawner right there. Uh, I did turn up the rate at which you could find mob spawners. Um, I need to turn it all the way up just a little, so that uh, we might be able to find something close to home, which we did. Okay, we can run. Boink. If my calculations are correct, not if my corrections are correct, my calculations are correct. This should be. Oh, hi, sheepy. This. Sh Whoa. This should be um, the sunflower biome, maybe. Oh, it's still. Oh, I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm so lost. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, there's a taiga there. Yeah. I think I went one too many biomes away. One too many biomes. Okay, here's one. Since we were really close to spawn, here's a way we can find our way back. Oh, I guess it might not be a taiga. It's probably just part of... Oh, we didn't go far enough. Oh, this way. And this way is definitely a technical term because I don't have a compass and I haven't looked at F3, so I really don't know what direction this way is. <laughs> but this way is um, on the other side of this mountain. Uh, this mountain biome. Should be a flower for, I mean not a flower for, it's a sunflower plains biome. No! No, you failed me! I failed me. I know, I don't know these uh, mountains. How come none of you have any eggs? Okay, um... Ow! Oh! I think I broke my ankle. Um, let's go around this mountain. Yeah, I can usually keep track of a couple of biomes, but... Uh, oh, I need my dirt! Oh, we'll get rid of the poppy. Poppies are pretty common. Ha! 
how can I have gotten lost? So it seems there's ocean over here, ocean over there. And there's no sunflower biome. How how is that possible? How is it even possible? Ah I know I can do it. Let me let me up here. I'm walking on leaves, yeah. And don't it feel good? Hey. Alright now. Uh uh no, no, I want up on the top. How did I get into islands? I don't know. This makes no sense. It didn't feel like I was on an island. Alright, let's go down here. I'm sure I can find my way. Baka, baka, baka. None of these chickens have eggs. They don't want me to have the pumpkin pie, I guess. That makes me a little sad. Oh, <gasps> look at that huge ravine right in the middle of this mountain. Oh, why can't I go? That is awesome. Okay, let's cut across this mountain. Oh look, there's more pumpkins. We don't need any more. We have a little bit. Good thing I didn't put a chest down anywhere. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, I was saying that there's a way you can uh, find your way back to spawn. If you look at the F3 menu, you just head towards 0, because spawn is usually close to 0, zero. Uh, So, push F3. We are at negative five thirty three seventy nine fifty nine. Um so the the Z coordinate is pretty close, so we just need to I think maybe go north this way. Let's see, it's five thirty three no. There we go. Now it's getting smaller. Yeah, we need to keep going this way. So probably on the other side of those mountains over there is what we're seeking. I can't believe I almost, almost got lost. I was, that's what I get for getting cocky. <laughs> um... I guess uh, I used to be so scared in Minecraft that I didn't want to explore or look at anything because I was afraid I would lose my place or die or something. But um, I started playing Seven Days to Die, uh, and it's it's a it's a lot harder uh, than Minecraft because you can't just light up the area and make it safe. Uh, the zombies come. <laughs> the zombies come. There's nothing you can do about it. They just come. <laughs> and they come to eat your brains. And and you have to learn to uh, just deal with them. Uh, and you have to get strong so you can, you can keep killing them. Because they keep coming. <laughs> they don't care if you put torches down. They're going to come to eat your brains out. Awesome. So, I guess once we get back to the village, uh, we can go ahead and call it an episode. And next time we'll try to start, I don't know, doing some mining or gathering some resources or something. Uh, yeah. Let's 
see see if we can uh, find our village village where are you woohoo I know it's around here. We're getting close. Hello, Chicky Poos. It's got to be over here. We're at negative 168 now. Oh, there's some horses. I don't see any familiar landmarks other than the metric ton of horses. Is this? No. There's a little lava over there. Hmm. <laughs> uh, well, we are... 300 off. Which way is going to get? That's getting bigger, so. Over this way? Another lava pool, or is that the same one I saw a while ago? Ah, we're going to find this. It's probably over this hill. Oh, let's sleep. I, know <laughs> I can't believe I got lost about after bragging about not not being able to get lost. Oh, it's got to be over here somewhere. I really like that. Uh, Bet it's um see the reason why I got lost is I didn't go back the exact same way that I set off in the end that's what gets you every time you gotta always backtrack there goes the last of the bread oh look there's a sunflower biome we're getting close Should just be over here. Should definitely just be over here. Amazing. I think I saw um Willit, where are you? Okay, how far are we? We're pretty close to zero zero. I think maybe it's over here though. Maybe. Maybe. If not, it's on the other side of the river. I see it! I see it! Oh, village, sweet village! I found you! <laughs> oh, that was scary. I thought I was never going to find my, my awesome village again. Sweet! Okay, so... <laughs> next episode, we're going to probably go explore that cave. Let's go um, on the other side of this village and we'll start um, maybe setting up a base over by that uh, over by that mob spawner. I don't know what kind of mob spawner it is. Where was it? Um, 
think we crossed that uh, body of water there. Where's the spawn hill? Is it this one over here? I think it was this hill right here. Yeah, yeah, and here, here is the cave. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. I think I want to make that cave my home. <laughs> At least for, you know, a little while. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, there's another little area up here. Oh my goodness. Tons of coal resources to be... <gasps> Oh, look at that. That's going to be so awesome. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll pick up next episode. We'll go exploring in that cave and, and try to make it a home. <laughs> um, so I wanted, I want to maybe do another modded series. Um, let me know what you guys think if I should make my own little mod pack or do um, uh, a Feed the Beast mod pack or a different popular mod pack. Uh, I don't care. I, I like modded and vanilla Minecraft. Um, there's, you know, pros and cons for each. Modded, you get cool different stuff. Um, vanilla, you get cool different stuff uh, because you get to see the new s snapshots, the newer versions that the mods haven't developed for yet. So, yeah. Thank you for, let me know what you think um, in the comments, whatever. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.